Hi friends, my name is Amita and in this video, I am going to discuss about step up chakra. My dear friends, in my previous video, I have already discussed about the basics of chopper, how it operates, what is the power circuit diagram and what are the different control strategies of chopper. If you are interested to learn, then kindly go through the link which I have given in the description. In this video, I will be mainly focusing on step up chopper. So now without wasting time, I'm directly sharing my screen where I will preview the step up chopper and I will uh, discuss about the power circuit diagram followed by its operation and appropriate waveforms and the analysis. So directly I am taking you on the screen. So let me open new presentation. So let us discuss about step up chopper. So what do you understand by step up chopper? As the name indicate, it is the chopper which is used to increase the DC voltage magnitude. As the name indicate, it is a step up chopper. So it is used to increase the magnitude of a DC voltage. That means if I represent the output voltage by V0 and the input voltage by supply voltage, so means V0 will be greater than Vs. Okay, so where, where V0 will be the output DC voltage and Vs is the input DC voltage. Okay, now let us discuss about its power circuit diagram. How a chopper, step up chopper can be able to convert the DC voltage of a higher magnitude. So let me discuss about its power circuit diagram. So we need to make one inductance. Here there will be a chopper. I already told you the chopper we will represent by a dash box. So this is chopper where the symbol of the chopper is in a box. We will represent one switch like this plus minus Vs. This is inductor. This is chopper. Here we are having one diode. Okay. And this one is load. Okay. So this is load. Where D is diode. L is inductor. CH is chopper. Vs is DC input voltage. Okay. And the voltage across the load which we are going to get, that is V0. So your V0 is a DC output voltage. Okay. Now, let us try to understand its operation. <coughs> the second part is operation. Okay. So the complete operation of a step up chopper, complete operation of step up chopper can be explained by two modes. One is conduction mode. Conduction mode ka matla hota hai when chopper is conducting. And second one is non-conduction mode. Non-conduction non-conduction mode. Non-conduction mode means when chopper is off. Okay? So let us start with a conduction mode conduction mode exists between 0 to T2 T O N okay in this mode T O N is the turn on time of a uh, T O N is the time in which the chopper is on in this mode chopper is on and acting as a short circuit acting as short circuit suppose the chopper is on on for turn on turn, turn on duration of T O N. So what is the equivalent circuit? Then the equivalent circuit circuit is as follows. Okay. So what is the equivalent circuit? Inductor chopper is acting as in short circuit. Okay. And 
diode will act as an open circuit this is chopper this is inductor and here it will be a load okay so here there will be an plus vs voltage now under the circumstances you can see that in this case the current will flow like this this is the current flowing through the chopper in this case you can see that the load voltage is zero because supply is not connected to the load okay now let us talk about now let us talk about the non conduction mode non conduction mode means non conduction mode that exists between ton to t2 t in this mode chopper is off as before it was on so the current was flowing through current was flowing through inductor now q2 chopper of the current through inductor inductor tries to reduce and inductor opposes that decrease of current because of its property decrease of current hence the emf ldi by dt will develop across inductor with right terminal positive positive terminal at right side okay the equilibrium circuit will be under the circumstances equivalent circuit is now what is the equivalent circuit inductor will be there now the chopper is open circuit okay so like this now the diode is short circuit why because you can see this is vs and ldi by dt is going to develop across the inductor because of a change in current so now the diode is forward bias by a voltage of vs plus ldi by dt so under the circumstances you can see now the current is flowing like this and your v0 will be equal to vs plus ldi by dt and of course the v0 is greater than v so this is how the load voltage is having the value higher than the supply voltage okay now let us try to make the waveforms waveforms okay so how i am going to make the waveforms this is the supply voltage which i am giving now if i plot this is t axis this is t axis so load voltage when the chopper is on i am getting zero load voltage when chopper is off i am going to get some load voltage so this kind of output voltage i am going to get on time me i am getting zero voltage and off time me i am getting this voltage so this is t o n this is t okay now again if i want to plot the current if i want to plot the current that is load current again continuous mode and discontinuous mode so continuous mode me if i will plot it for discontinuous mode also discontinuous mode this is your load curve so continuous mode me current will not be zero okay this is what the continuous mode so like this so this is turn on time this is t this is this is t o n this is t like this this is i minimum and this is i max okay and if i talk about discontinuous mode somewhere it will be zero before turn on time then like this okay this is t o n this is t so in this case i minimum will be zero this continuous case mein i minimum will be zero aur yahan par i minimum cannot be zero 
so these are the waveforms now let me do the analysis part analysis under the analysis my interest is to determine the relation between the supply voltage and the output voltage so let me draw the circuit we know that during conduction mode conduction mode let me again draw the equivalent circuit this is inductor chopper is acting as a short circuit diode was a open circuit and this was the load this was the circuit during conduction mode during conduction mode means during turn on time you know for a t1 time okay conduction mode or you can write or you can write conduction mode exists between 0 to t o n okay? plus minus v s and the current is flowing like this this is your ch this is your diode this is your inductor and here the load voltage is equal to zero so if i ask you what is the voltage across inductor the voltage across inductor you can see through this short circuit the supply voltage is appearing to the load so v is equal to v n and you have seen that during turn on time the current is changing its value from maximum to minimum so suppose if this current is i max and this is i minimum so the current is varying from maximum to minimum so what i can write i can write i l that is equal to i minimum plus i max linear hai to maine uska average value nikal liya this is the current so you know as per the energy conservation principle energy cannot create nor destroy so during on time as the supply is connected with the help of chopper and flowing the current through inductor so it will be able to store the energy so what energy will be stored energy stored by inductor during turn on time is equal to voltage across inductor current through inductor in turn on time voltage across inductor during turn on time kya hai vs current through inductor kya hai i minimum i max by 2 and turn on time so this is the energy stored by inductor during on time now similarly if i plot the equivalent circuit during non conduction mode non conduction mode which exists from tun to t so what will be the equivalent circuit inductor will be there and chopper will act as an open circuit chopper will act as an open circuit diode will act as an short circuit and here it will be load okay this is chopper this is inductor plus minus vs and here l di by t okay now if somebody is up, how the current is flowing now the current will flow like this now under the circumstances if i ask you what is vl vl is equal to plus minus hai na aur yahan par kya aayega plus minus that is your load voltage so plus minus minus plus so means vl will be vs minus v0 and that is equal to ldi by tt okay now if i ask you il in this non conducting mode il non conduction mode mein current is again changing its value from i max to i minimum to i max so again i will take the average of it and what i am going to get i minimum plus i max by 2 now energy dissipated jo energy stored ki hai inductor mein on time mein wahi dissipate hogi so energy dissipated by the inductor during off time during tof okay so what is that vl il tof now vl ki value kya hai vs minus 
it will be since in this case v0 is higher than vs so you can write in place of vs minus this will be negative because v0 will be higher than vs so i can write in place of min in place of vs minus v0 minus i can write v0 minus vs into i minimum plus i max by 2 into p o f p o f now x per energy conservation principle energy conservation principle energy cannot create energy cannot create it nor destroy it nor destroy it. so energy stored by inductor by inductor during ton should be equal to energy dissipated by inductor during ton okay what is that vs i minimum plus i max by 2 into ton aur yahan par v0 minus vs i minimum plus i max by 2 this this cancel what i am going to get v s t o n v not minus v s t o so finally what i am getting v s t o n v not minus v s upon not upon and t o now isko explain kar sakte hain v not t o f minus v s t o f v s t o n plus v s t o f is equal to v zero top now from here v zero is equal to v s t o n plus t o f divide by t o f now from here i can write t o n plus t o f is equal to t by t o f okay i can write t o f is equal to t minus t o n because i want to write the expression of v not in terms of v s with duty cycle so what i am going to get v not is equal to v s t by t minus t o n divide the numerator and denominator by t so what i am going to get v s t by t upon t by t minus t o n by t so what i am going to get 1 upon 1 minus alpha because alpha is equal to t o n by t and we know as the value of alpha always lies between 0 to 1 hence v0 will be always greater than equal to v s so you can see that in this mode of in this type of chopper the average the output voltage will be always higher than the supply voltage okay so my dear friends whatever information in this video i have shared regarding step up chopper that will be useful for you if you want to learn more about the chopper then keep watching my video thank you